guy doesn't feel at home, the Torah won't come to be part of him. We're talking about a 120-year program at Shalvin for Women, not just a one-year program. The atmosphere in Shalvin is a home away from home. I'm a family of five. I'm from Manchester. I went to a modern Orthodox primary school. It was lovely. nor does it have anything to do with the content of this class. <laughs> I never used to want to go to SEM. It's been the best decision that I've probably made in my life so far. I've like used it to the best ability by learning and enjoying Israel and meeting people from around the world and teaching Americans like British words and how to speak properly. <laughs> So we were like talking, I guess, generally more. I heard about Shalavim through my family. My brother was here a couple years ago. My dad was here back in 79, 80. And that source of pride of Shalavim was just stuck in the family. Why is Naziris considered? Shalavim is unique, I, I believe, in the fact that it has a confluence of independence for the Talmudim where we can go on our own and learn what we want to learn and in our own independent way, but also with the close relationship with the Rebbeim. Did we realize the Ramban gave two different answers? I can't do any lumdus with my left hand. The whole world has to know that book? Here in Chalvim, the relationship like, between the, the Rebbeim and the students is, is, you know, really, really strong. In certain areas, I'm a passionate guy, um, and I feel that this yeshiva quenches some of those passions. The Rebbe knows what bothers the students, and he can speak to the topics that bothers them. All this together as a panel causes this passion. When they see that the Torah come to be Torah Chaim, they are learning about themselves from the learning. Bezrat Hashem, it will continue for the future. level and not as a nation? Uh, that's a great question, Julia. Uh, it's based on the Sivar Torah from Rabbi Yashif. I think we have to say. I went to Israel last year to look at seminaries that I was considering going to, and the second I stepped foot in Shalvim, I knew I wanted to go there. It has such a positive learning environment, and the teachers are all brilliant and very helpful. <laughs> well, when I came here, it was just the most eye-opening, happy experience. I think one of the best things about Shalvim is the teachers and the faculty. The idea that they're all so different, but each one of them brings something so valuable to the table. There's such a variety of different classes that every class I take is something that's interesting to me. I don't get homesick here. I mean, I love my family and I miss them a lot and they know that, but this school really, like, it keeps me feeling comfortable and at home. I definitely know that I made the right decision. It's really, really amazing here. I grew up in the five towns and I went to SKA for high school. I heard about Shalvim because other SKA girls went to Shalvim. Definitely when I come to the base and when I sit in on the shears, I don't just feel like I'm gaining information. I feel like I'm inspired and I feel like I have a new desire to grow and I'm motivated to become a better learner and a better person in general. The guys coming to Shalvim are high caliber students who succeeded in high school are motivated to take full advantage of the learning opportunities that they have here in the yeshiva. Here when you walk into the base medrash every day, it's 100%. Everyone's really all in. I think what's really special about Shalvim is that the environment is just so warm that no matter what your background is, there's always a place for you and people are always looking out for you and that in and of itself is a great experience. I think the most inspiring thing for me is tefillah. I have a whole new perspective from my class that I took here. Shalom meets... Uh, meets Abu matok, matok. Abuzim. We want you to Who's going to clean up my room next year? I don't know. I love learning in Israel. Like, 
There's nothing else like it in the whole world. Shaolin is the best place for you to gain independence and also get ready for the real world. That's great for the video. My parents are going to be proud. They sent me to Israel to eat. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I went to Open Our Rut for high school and I had an incredible time there. Should I say that I was president or no? And after Opana, I decided to come to the very special place of Shalvin for Women in the holy city of Yushalayim. I think something really incredible about Shalvim is the atmosphere. Right when you walk inside, there's this warm feeling. Everyone is just here for the right reasons. Everyone wants to learn. Everyone has this deep love for Eretz Yisrael and you really feel it. We're all a family. It's not just like girls attending a school. Everyone's there for each other, has everyone's back, and there to help one another. Mosei Shabbat Tazriya Mitzora was one of my hardest Mosei Shabbat or days in life. People always wanted to be with you. When I got the text from Rav Waxman about the boy in yeshiva who, who fortunately passed away, it hit me like, like a rock. We are going to take in two hours from now the whole yeshiva because I think that everyone has to feel connected. It's more personal now. It's, it's home deeper in a way that I've never felt before. And I came here on Shabbat, Shabbat, and, and I came to be Mechazek, but I 10 times more got Chizuk, and I wanted that the whole yeshiva would get that. Food. All these girls are from Chutz Taretz. So they value and they appreciate what Yom Hazikaron is. never been here for Yom HaZikaron and Yom HaTzma'ut. We are entering into a very highly emotionally charged time here in Eretz Yisrael. Tonight's program is about bringing the girls in, making the girls feel more included and understand the tremendous sacrifice that the soldiers gave of their life in order to make this place possible. One of the things that we say at Chalvin for Women is that if you're learning and you're not smiling, you're learning, but you're not learning Torah. Torah is Torah that's misamachat, Torah that is happy, and that's something that we try very much to do ourselves and also to do with our students as well. Chalvin for Men and Chalvin for Women is about learning Torah, it's about living Torah, it's about a life of, of, of Odat Hashem, the Simcha. If I see in the corridor, or in my room, or in the Beit Midrash, a guy that is not smiling. I see that he's bothered with something. I immediately will call him. In order that the Torah will come to be part of you, you have really to be happy and to feel at home. My favorite quote actually is, Ivzu at Hashem Besimcha, because there's no better way to serve him than with happiness. <laughs> So here we say That um, I'm able to learn so much from my students, just in terms of their passion for the Lord Hashem. How seriously they take the learning and apply it to every element of their life. Shalavim has 100% changed my life. They've given me that stability, that foundation to now for me to be able to start my life and raise my family. My father and my brother were both in Shalavim, and now I feel that, you know, being through Shalavim myself, not only can we share, like, the inside personal jokes or whatever it be about the dorms or anything about yeshiva, but we also have a different connection about how we understand life. Hi, Mom. Thanks for letting me come to Israel for the year. The shawarma is really, really great, so thanks. I'm uh, speaking with uh, 
Shayna and Jordana. They are alumni of Shalvin for Women, currently learning in Stern College for Women. Every Tuesday from 2 to 2.30 uh, Israel time, 7 a.m. to 7.30 U.S. time, uh, we learn together. <laughs> Every one of them is different and different.